All right, guys, I want to give you my initial impressions of Persona 3 Reload. So over the years, I heard so many amazing things about the Persona games. Persona 3, Persona 4, Persona 5. Wow, oh my gosh, must play, right? So I was like, so I looked into these games, right? And especially now that they were on PC, because I don't, I don't like PlayStation, right? But they were on PC, I saw them. But my problem with Persona games is that they're so damn long, like 90 hours, 100 hours, 110 hours, 120 hours possibly. And a game like that, gosh, I don't think I have the time to complete a game that long, man. You know, 120, 100 hour game, that would take me like four or five months. I don't want to spend a one third to half a year just playing one game, guys. So I just, I, I just never had the, I just never, I just never had the courage to play those games to pick them up. But then, then I saw recently Persona 3 Reload came out on Xbox, right? Xbox Game Pass. And I said, you know what? There's nothing to play. I've heard great things about these games, right? So, you know what? Let me just give it a few hours to try. Let me try it for a few hours. Let me see what all the hype is about, right? So, I download it and I start it up, right? So, the game can be broken down into two key areas. The first area is the high school so high school visual novel simulator, all right? So, in this part of the game, you hang out with friends, you build relationships, i.e. social links, and you get involved with other different activities, see how their problems play out through, or throughout the year, choices you make. I think this is interesting, right? That's interesting. But the problem with this game is, the problem with this game is that there's not much to do in the visual novel areas. You only got four areas. You got the dorm, which there's not much to do. You got the school, and a lot of parts of the school are cut off. You got the two malls and the train station. There isn't much to do, guys. How many times? It's a 90-hour game on average. How many times are you going to go over these four areas? How many times are you going to be an employee at the coffee bar or the movie theater? How many times are you going go to the, go sing karaoke or go to the arcade machines? It gets boring after a while, guys. How can you do the same damn thing all over 90 hours? It's so limited. I get it. I get it, guys. It's a remake. It's, a, it's, it's trying to be faithful. I get it. But that doesn't mean they can't add brand new areas. Come on. It's 2024. Why don't we have four areas, only really small four? areas with not much to do in them i should have added like 10 extra areas man make it feel like a true japanese city with tons of places to explore tons of people to meet tons of activities to do why don't we have this in the year 2024 that's a big problem there's just not enough staying power for 90 hours and the next problem is the next problem is you there's not much activities to do this is just a visual novel you just read text for example i'll give you an example the track field you join the track team great but guess what happens in the track team you go to the track and you just read a bunch of stuff and that's it guys guys if i'm on the track team i actually want to participate in some races if i go into the arcade i actually want to play an arcade game if I actually go to the coffee shop, I actually want to prepare and serve coffee. You guys remember that old game Rockstar made called Bully? I think it came out in 2006. It also took place in the school. But guess what? When you went to those classrooms, you had activities. You went to art class, you made art. You went to chemistry class, you mixed chemi chemicals. Why don't we have that in this game? That would make the game a lot more interactive, a lot more fun than just reading text upon text upon text. Where is the gameplay in this game? It's just reading stuff. I, I I mean, I can't do that for 90 hours. I can't just read visual text over 90 hours. The characters got to be really interesting. And the characters are a little bit interesting, but man, the game is so weeby, man. It really appeals to the weebs or the otakus, man. I mean, you got to have more. You got to have more than this in 2024, guys. Come on, please. And the other aspect of the game, which is the dungeon crawler, the RPG aspects, I think it's complete garbage. Tartarus, Tartarus, who the hell wants to climb 200 floors of a randomly generated dungeon with generic same looking enemies with the, every floor being the same as the one before it? Hell no, man. That's not what an RPG is supposed to be like. No, no if you're going to have a turn-based battling RPG, give me damn interesting worlds to explore with interesting companions with a huge enemy variety no you don't have that in tartarus tartarus is the same damn repetitive enemies over and over and over again with the same repetitive flow or floor or floor, floor but they tell me captain what about the battle system don't you like the battle system no i don't like the battle system i don't care about leveling up my persona man why the hell would i want to do that would you keep on battling repetitive enemies hell no you have to give me an incentive to level up my persona otherwise i'm just gonna play the the game on very 
easy because I just want to skip Tartarus. I think the visual novel aspect side of the game is a lot better. But even then, as limitations, not many areas to explore, not many activities to do. It's the same damn thing over again. This game is the definition of insanity, literally. You have a randomly generated dungeon at night, and you have the same four or five different areas in the daytime. Gosh, I don't know how you guys stand this for 90 hours. I played till 10 hours. I was like, I had it. That's enough for me. I can't anymore. I can't play anymore. I can't stomach anymore. I'm not going to waste a hundred hours of my life on this. I think I think I played enough to make an opinion on it. I give this game like a 4 out of 10. The the the, the nighttime Tartarus RPG, that's complete garbage. I guess a 0 out of 10, okay? The visual novel aspect gets a 4 out of 10. I wish there was just more stuff to do in the visual novel aspect of the game. I wish there was more gameplay in this game, but... I don't know, man. You Persona fans, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta start stepping up your game. You gotta be demanding more from Atlas. This is this this isn't accept this isn't acceptable in 2024. I don't care what you say. Come at me.